All right, guys, let's check it out. The brand new OCG ban list that just came out, and it is going to be taking place on April 1st. Now, what's interesting with this brand new OCG Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list, there is zero ban cards. So, obviously, at the top, we can already see a Dragon Ruler is coming back, and I believe this is the final Dragon Ruler that we needed to complete the entirety of the series. So, Dragon Rulers are back, not necessarily in full power, but at the end of the day, does full power Dragon Rulers even matter? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what was actually in the metagame for Yu-Gi-Oh! It was pretty much Fire King. I know Snake Eyes is in its own category, but it's kind of like mixed in, right? Fire King, Snake Eyes. You can kind of lump them together. Uh, but at the same time, this is in the TCG over here. This is the OCG. So we can definitely see this deck is the like main contender to be hit on this list. So what got changed? So obviously title is now there. But that doesn't really help Fire Kings, but nonetheless, it is there. And then on top of that, another card did get hit over here i know this this right here is a, a translation so some of the text may not like match up like sensors are uh, versatile is uh, there can only be one so what does the dragon ruler uh coming back matter no i mean you could try to play mermels in 2024 and throw them the title is it going to make a difference probably not because going for things uh like the Beatrice and locking your opponent down via the uh, New York Magical Musketeer combo is just overall superior to like making another like what are you gonna go for a rank seven? You gonna make a turn one Draco sack turn yeah turn one Draco sack isn't gonna be doing anything in this day and age, uh, but giving us another monster to go for more link plays sure. Uh, but at the end of the day, I would say this doesn't hugely impact the metagame. Next up though, one of the cards that actually does matter, uh, and this is for consistency over here. This is going to be the wanted over here so it lets you add the diabell star which lets you extend a lot of your combos and just gives you free extra stuff so this card over here being changed this actually matters for every deck because a lot of decks do play this card it's kind of like one of those splashable cards back in the day when i remember when gores were splashable uh but nonetheless uh that is something that is going to be hit in uh, a lot of different decks now another good change and this is the first thing i think that is like really really good but i think that these cards should just be banned in general i'm curious to know what you guys uh think about this so there can only be one uh okay uh, there can be only one is a card that is really annoying. It doesn't matter if that's at one it, it just is annoying to run into you can see in the OCG They had it at two and then it's slowly starting to go down And there's actually an interesting trend here that we can actually look at and kind of apply it Maybe to the TCG for one of the cards we're about to talk about so uh, As far as this goes, this is a good change But I just think that in general these goes and match these rivalry of warlords Even if they're at one you play one copy of each your deck opens up with it or if your deck can play it because um, usually you can either play Rivalry or Gozen in most of the decks, or you can just end your board to the point where you play to specifically go around one of those, and then you have it. It just makes it so your opponent cannot Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think that that is not, just not a fun thing. However, they did actually add another card that kind of helps deal with certain back row, but a lot of times when there's a bunch of back row, you're going turn one into another bunch of negations, and they're just going to negate whatever card, like Heavy Storm coming back, uh, let's say if that does come back, or, you know, other things we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, they might not, like, really matter that much, but at the end of the day, I would say this is a step in the right direction for there can only be one, but it's not necessarily going to, like, fix it being kind of annoying if your opponent just opens up with a turn one, right? But next up, as far as semi-restricted cards, uh, so first off, one of the uh, world chests, oh, they call it Star Cup uh, Miko over here. Uh, so... Uh, again, some of these names might be a little bit uh, off, but SP Little Knight, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why? Uh, I mean, will that change the price of cards? Uh, I would say probably not, but what it will probably be is a hint that this card is more likely going to be getting banned. So my guess, it's going to go from 3 to 2 and then go to 2 to 1. Again, most people just play 1 anyways, but... Sure, some decks may use more copies of it, but for the most part, if you're looking at any of like the tournament decks, like if I just go to any like Fire King uh, deck over here and I just click on this one, I know this one's a TCG over here. How many Liz Lights were they running? Okay, they're running one, right? I go to another one. Majority of them aren't going to be playing triple copies anyway, so <laughs> I really don't understand this. This is kind of just like a, a wild card over here, but... Did the Fire King survive over here? So we have two cards essentially being hit, especially Ash, one of the best cards in the entire deck. That is going to be making some sort of a difference. Now, um, are they going to be at one? No, that would make a much bigger difference. But them being at two, I mean, the deck has really good consistency anyway. So I would say the deck is still going to be relatively powerful. And then what I think is a very interesting change over here is the Kaiser Coliseum. So this card, I remember people thought that it was going to be super, super OP uh, if there's... Uh, uh, they can't place more monsters uh, that exceed the numbers because a lot of people were thinking this and I think it was like sign it switch back when we had like the link announcement of kind of how it works uh, This card can be annoying, but like 
who's playing like these, you know, uh, you know, evil eye, one boss monster, go ahead, sort of a decks, like a, you know, Bujin comes to mind, like, that's kind of like, the ultimate, I summon one card, I got Bujin Yamato, I got all these little things to, to protect my one monster, but I didn't really see it, at least from my POV, and I do follow the OCGs, but because I look at the top decks, and I also sometimes go into the uh, EDO Pro, and I'll look at what people are playing to get you guys gameplay footage of stuff that's coming out in the future. Right now, I I'm on that Magical Musketeer hype right now, that and uh, mixing in, again, Beatrice with uh, the combo with uh, Ghost Meets Girl, Mayakashi, Transaction Rollback, that's a turn one GG instantly. And the thing with that deck is just good going second and first too. Uh, so I really like that deck, and uh, that deck, I mean, you could maybe throw in Kaiser Coliseum with the muskets, but uh, nonetheless, I still think that this doesn't really do too much. Now, another thing that doesn't really do too much over here is, well, they call it Greedy uh, and Rich Pot. So basically, yeah, uh, Extravagance is going to be hit. Most people played three Extrav anyways. Um, so, I mean, there really wasn't too much of a point considering, well, if you banish, you know, 12 cards, yeah, you're pretty much out of the extra deck. Anyways, it's only good really like, I'd say, you know, in the first few turns for most decks, and most decks could still probably play around it. This would be like the one reason why you would play triple copies of Little Knight. Maybe that's the reason. All right, too many people playing Strav. They're running three copies of Little Knight, so they don't banish it. Let's make that not possible anymore. So I don't know, but it's still not really that big of a deal. I, most of the stuff, again, doesn't really matter with the exception of, I, I would say, like the Wanted uh, over there. And then over here uh, with uh, these two cards. It matters just a smidgen, I would say. Now, as far as Summon Sorcerers coming back, this is kind of a huge deal, but remember, it's getting eroded, and you have to go uh, for monsters with the same original type as the monster special summon from the deck. So, huge L on that sort of an end, so that is a, a big change and it doesn't make it nearly as good but obviously yeah you can still maybe try to use it uh but things like the orcus over here dark worm uh this is also being changed over here so someone sources again that's a rod it doesn't really matter as much and then all these things going from semi uh to unlimited and what i think is really strange if you told me back in the day like back when i would say Yu-Gi-Oh was like super og when you had like you know teledad and then the, you know light swarm was really popular and then there's like the diva zombies and then uh, we moved into like, you know, all these other decks after that. If you told me Change of Heart was going to three, I'd say, dude, you crazy. There's no way this game would get to that point. And we have triple copies of, oh, change, uh, change mind. <laughs> this is like using one of those bootleg uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards when they translate it via like their app because those are always how they translate it. And it has like the really bad names. Uh, but this card, it doesn't even matter because you can play triple tactical talents. It's way better turn one. It's way better to turn two because you can decide what you want to do with it. Do you want to extra draw? Do you want to take? Do you want to see? Like there, there just, there's no point to this. Like there's so many things of, this is almost one of the most pointless banless i would say ever in the ocg usually ocg does a better job i'm like tcg can we please get the ocg list but at this point it's it's really looking like like a tcg uh banless over here where like it's just a lot of times i feel like the tcg banless kind of falls short uh but the one thing that i thought was interesting because i was like, oh dude they had triple launcher that's busted i didn't even know that launcher uh because i wasn't keeping up with invernities because i haven't seen anyone play them so if we go to uh launcher was already at two in the oc now in the tcg if they put triple launcher oh my gosh people would be going wild but i think it's kind of a play style mentality the ocg doesn't like to go otk all in turn one as much as the tcg generally does so i would say as far as things that would get people excited about the tcg i mean yeah like I said, if inferno launcher goes to three oh they also have right of Aramisia, but that doesn't really matter too much again most of the stuff does not really matter uh, i would say in the grand scheme of things uh overall for the entirety of like the ban list but that's my personal thoughts on it. You guys can let me know yours down below. Do you guys think this is a W ban list or an L ban list? Like I said, I basically said it's an L. If you could change anything, what would you guys change down below? I mean, honestly, if it was my choice, I'd ban all Link monsters, go back to OG Yu-Gi-Oh! But to be realistic, yeah, I think the Snake Eyes and Fire Kings could have gotten hit a lot harder because, you know, people are maybe tired of seeing that deck dominate, but it looks like it's going to be dominating for maybe another format, and I bet you guys later, Little Knight's going to go to one, and then it's going to get banned, and that's just kind of how the cycle of Yu-Gi-Oh! works. But that's my thoughts. You guys can let me know yours down below. But anyways, drop a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!